Hi guys, Bleach here. How's it going? Working on a walk behind Husqvarna uh, weed trimmer for uh, Ray. Now the story goes, uh, Ray's grandson ran it out of gas and it won't run anymore. Yes, we tried to put more gas in it and it still wouldn't run. And I drained the gas out of it and it had a lot of sentiment in the, uh, a lot of dirt and stuff in the uh, gas tank. Right now, I'm trying to get the gas, or the grass off there. Gas. Yes, yeah, there's gas everywhere. There's grass everywhere, but I'm trying to get the grass off there. I was just thinking that was binding it as my, uh, holy shirt, jockey underwear, and my, uh, my, uh, gut is hanging out of my shirt. You can't go wrong with a shirt hanging out of your gut. I lost weight from my gut inches and stuff, and I was just happy that shirt fit. And realizing that it wouldn't cover up the underwear showing in my gut showing. But uh, enough about that. Let's just see how this video goes. Um, it's not race uh, loan equipment. It's his uh, grandson or nephews or something. They used it to cut that uh, huge field and stuff. His grandson and stuff. And it just, just like everything here, it just stopped running. Even me, look at the gut. I stopped running. I mean, I walk on the treadmill, but I don't run. But you think I may be Forrest Gump or something, running through the town with the snappers, but who knows? But, this is such fun working on these things with you guys. I figure I share my process with what I'm doing here. Um, I did not uh, get it running in this video, sadly. I don't really feel comfortable working on this, because it's uh, uh, not mine. And, um... It's just uh, an expensive piece of lawn equipment, and um, I don't know, I just didn't want it really. I, if uh, something happened to it, I'd be at fault, but I don't know, maybe not, because I know what I'm doing. I put it together correctly, as you can see in this video, when we get it done, and I was ever so careful. I'm just trying to hack at this thing with a screwdriver right now. No, 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 don't fall. Don't you fall now. This, this was an interesting day working on this thing. I uh, I put a uh, sunblock on now, my arms and my face now, and my uh, parts of the gut hang out, my bald spot. But jeez, man, we me and uh, you know, Ray may work on this thing again. I think it sucked dirt up into the carburetor. Hopefully, the carburetor can be cleaned to uh, make it run again. If not, it's not a good thing. See there, I got most of the grass off. That's pretty cool. That just makes me ever so happy. My weed trimmer works at least. I'm lucky the guy uh, sent a secondary carburetor and it worked. I still haven't thanked him yet. The um, China person, I'm going to thank him. That's, uh, I don't know. I, I made this uh, voiceover before. I didn't like how it went, so do it again. I should have revealed that little piece of information to you guys. I already had the video ready to go up last night. This video is about a week old. Sorry, I haven't put any uh, videos up in a while. It's just been kind of slow here. It's been raining. Um, the last uh, thing I worked on, wait till you see what it's doing. You'll see at the end of the, the video here. Looks like I got most of the grass out of there. Pretty awesome. At least it didn't go on my got make it itchy I really this is this on oh I get the little piece off off there just pick at it no oh, I'm bleach you can do it pick that grass off there so you pick your nose you know it's fun ever have like uh playing with your dog or something they reach their nail up your nose and dig it like the inside of your nose that's just the worst feeling oh it hurts one of my uh girlfriends I talked to her nose is in a lot of pain and that happened to her. Yeah, just brush it right off the table there. Um, you'll hear, I don't know, the last voiceover had ringing, like, from Facebook on here. People calling me. It was funny. I love doing this. This is so much fun working on these things. There's a lot of stress and anxiety involved with it, too, because you're, uh, aware of what you're not, what you're doing is not going to work sometimes, and you can't fix everything, but you can at least try. 
I was trying to do a favor for Ray here, help him out, and he doesn't really have the patience to work on this stuff anymore, and no one seems to, I mean, the guy I got those, uh, two push mowers free from, well, there's guys that have patience, obviously, that are just used to it, but the guy I got those two push mowers from was like, uh, I was like, oh, screw that, I don't want to put that back together, freaking b wet bolts way behind there or something, he just didn't want to bother, and the, the, the guy's a roofer, he's more accustomed to being on a roof all day and doing that, that's his job, and some people just don't like working on law more, some people are more interested in doing other things for a job. He, he wants to uh, fix his uh, four-wheelers or something he made. A neighbor there, he might enjoy that more than a lawnmower. Just, I don't know. It's morning, I just woke up as I'm recording this. I'm uh, sitting here drinking coffee. Around my uh, purple tapestries I got in my room. I really wish I wore a better shirt. At least my hiney's not showing. That's a plus. Yeah, I should have cut this down a bit. It's ever so interesting just getting grass out of there. I just thought I'd show you how grass binds up in those things. and Mine doesn't do that, but some of them do. That's the same uh, body as my, uh, as my, uh, husk as my uh, grass, but it's the same thing. They're virtually the same, except for mine's a decomps, so that one's a uh, uh, freaking Briggs, which is a little better. Probably a lot better. Well, a lot better now that's not running, sadly. I'm swapping out the plug right now before I change the carburetor bowl. Um, hoping that helps. I got extra plugs around. There's the Nike swoosh. There is a, uh, about 10, 15 years ago, early 2000s, in my next town over, there's people selling Nikes, and my friends are like, oh, those are old Nikes, those are great. And I'm like, okay, why is the switch upside down now? And they're like, oh, They weren't real Nikes, they are counterfeit sneakers. I don't even know how they got away with selling them. They, they, I put them on my feet, they were not very comfortable. I don't know. They were nice sneakers, mind you. They were good copies, but they were just counterfeits. They were, I have like flat feet. They weren't comfortable. Just showing you how dirty the plug is there. When we get it running, I'll put a clean plug in it. Really charge Ray a couple bucks in the plug. Filter's clean on it, too. There's my uh, watch beep, and that's ever so awesome. Oh, let's see if it'll run. Of course, you can't hear it run in this video. Oh, see, it won't run. You know what my greatest fear is? Starting up a pull start thing and the cord is ripping right out of it. It's terrible. I think I had a full tank of gas in it and I drained out. No good now. Um sad. I just love those long shorts that cover up my knees. So you don't have to see your high knees. <laughs> Alright. So there you can see me setting up the camera there. Oop, just kicked the tripod. That's pretty awesome. Right now I'm taking the uh, side cover off there. Doing this. This looks ever so fun, guys. Just trying to get this thing apart and see how it goes. I did not show it in this video, but the bowl was, uh, the carburetor bowl was a mint. It was pretty clean. <coughs> Man, my voice is getting deeper. Start to sound like a uh, really good uh, voiceover guy, like someone that just uh, calls a movie or something. Oh, see, Bleach work on his uh, shit there. Or someone else's shit, for that matter. But, uh, this is cool. Hopefully it inspires you guys to work on some uh, stuff, too. I just love that little, uh, screwdriver thing that hooks up to my uh, work force socket. It's really great help, it is. 
wind force socket wrench that actually a wind force socket. Well, it actually is a wind force socket. You use it a, uh, with this. And then as my uh, watch that you see in many, many videos, guys. You can tell that filter that came off there is really clean. So it's not that. It's like a bunch of uh, dirt up there from the filter, guys. Which is uh, awesome. It's awesome. Make sure you drop all the little screws on the ground there to be seen again. You know, I uh, Ray suggested using a tarp to put off everything, like, so it catches everything. But the tarp don't work when it's windy out. It just blows all over, and it gets really irritating. I uh, tried doing that on something that it showed in this video. But, um, years ago, I used to uh, drop stuff all over, and, um, Forget how things go together, and the the videos I mean help me put things back together and stuff. And um, uh, look on the camera and see, or just look at the computer. Now I got so used to taking stuff apart and putting it back together, and remembering all the bits and shits and where the things go. Which is just awesome. Yeah, I'm smacking my lips. I'm thirsty. Even had my breakfast yet when I'm making this video for you guys. And I'm trying so hard here. Yeah, see, uh, see how this goes. You can actually use a one four socket for that screw. I didn't realize that at the time I just cap off uh, stabbing at it trying to get it off there. Some of those uh screws on these Briggs you can use a socket head on instead of a screwdriver which makes things easier. Just depends what uh tool you want to use. I was having a trouble with this low gated screwdriver I'm like looking at it like, oh yeah, I remember now. That'll fit just right on there and you can take that off there. Uh, this is different than the quantum I worked on that was on my uh, snapper that I cleaned and got running. There might be a jet in this carburetor that needs to be cleaned. Uh, just have to wait and see. I think Ray has the right screwdriver to take the jet out. Plus I got a uh, head that'll go into my socket that'll take the jet out of these. But uh, I didn't realize there was a screw at the top there that also uh, needs to come off. And I was just uh, finagling here trying to figure this out. I was trying to unhook the cable thinking that would help take it off. And I'm like, just looking at it like I just better leave that because I don't really need to take that off to access that carburetor. It, you could probably uh, leave that attached. It's clean the carburetor still or just get it off there if you like I was like a bird shit on my hat or something or maybe my uh, girlfriend did something we'll never know I won't say what she did I'm kidding but uh this let's see how this goes that's not gonna work what do you do in there get that the hell out of there Oh, you know there's a something holding it there. What would be holding it? Another screw. Oh, cool. I'm about to sneeze as I'm recording this. <laughs> Shit. Oh. wonder if Morgan Freeman ever sneezes when he does voiceovers and has to retake. Aw, oh, shit. I'm about to sneeze. Ah, too. That's the worst uh, Morgan Freeman voice ever. Hopefully I can get this uh, voiceover done and go get some waffles or some oatmeal or maybe a bagel or something. Uh, one of the th three things could be my uh, potential breakfast, which is awesome. It's uh, about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Pretty sad I haven't had my breakfast yet. I got up at 10. I started watching uh, Marvel's Defenders, which isn't really worth watching unless you watch the other Marvel shows that... Uh, crossing over with it, like, uh, uh, Daredevil and Luke Cage, and, um, that other one with the woman, I can't think what it's called, the black hair, uh, uh, Bat Batgirl is supposed to be a lesbian, as I got that from when I saw the trailer, I could just tell, because the, every girl that's a lesbian has to have a, 
a short haircut. I mean, that's kind of a stereotype, like a pixie haircut. I think that's kind of cute, the short haircuts on girls always say, I like that pixie haircut. Oh, yeah, I don't know. They have to be more politically crutch. No, I don't have any thing against really anybody. As long as you're not a complete asshole to me, I'll like you and care for you. Alright, just leave that alone there and see how it goes. Alright, it's starting to leak gas. I got my uh, vice grips on there and we're, we're breaking out the bald spot because the hat fell off. Just got too irritating to wear. It's just a uh, leak in there like a, a guy with a bad prostate. Uh, cock a leaky. Alright. Let's get your bald spot right out of the way. I wish my head did not do that. I wore a lot of hats back in my day. I just didn't like my hair too much because it was curly. Now look at it. Oh, God. If you want to send me a new hat, guys, or something like a Briggs hat or gift or maybe a, a yarmulke if you're Jewish or something, it'd be perfect to cover up that bald spot. I'm not joking about any nationality or uh, anything. I'm just trying to be funny because the yarmulke would just fit right over the bald spot. I'm not kidding. It would be perfect for it. All right, guys, forgive me. Stamper, 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 I made you out of junk. I built you out of junk, and, and no one loved you but me. Yeah, I put you by the road, and no one come to see you. They drive right by. They look at thighs. I don't know. Thighs? Wise buys the thigh stamper. I'm just joking. But... Sadly, there's two of them by the side of the road, no takers. Um, maybe because they have problems. I gotta put the belt on the one that had the belt, uh, had the wrong size belt. I'll, uh, put that on there soon. There won't be a video of that, because there's enough videos about putting belts on, uh, snappers on, uh, YouTube. I probably will mow with it, though, so that would be something. I might be just stuck with a bunch of mowers I can't sell. Um, sadly, no one loves those stampers anymore. They'd rather have a brand new lawnmower with a, a China cologne engine on it that, uh, squirts out smoke for its, cl and like, and it smells like cologne, like, uh, Aquavalva Brute or something, or maybe ass body spray. Smells like ass. But, um, yeah, the squirt smoke on you, the china motor, and then it gets you ready for your uh, hot date with your uh, snamper girlfriend. What did I just say? I'm in a tizzy. I'm feeling dizzy. I miss my Lizzie, my pet Lizzie. Or the Lizzies, the lizard people. We won't talk about those. But I'm just being silly here. I'm a little overtired. I started recording this voiceover this morning. Now it's nighttime, and nighttime we get all a little overtired and stuff. But I'm just putting this together as best as I could, putting every little piece back together. How it went, how it should go. Um, I wish it would mow again. I hope I can fix it with Ray over the weekend. Still working on trying to get a bicycle, guys. I may uh, hook my cell phone up to it and do lives with it or something in the future. We'll see. I don't know if I can balance a bike anymore. Uh, my mother's really nice. She's like, can you even balance a bike anymore? I don't know. I can balance a lawnmower. Sure I can balance a bike. As long as the chain doesn't pop off of it and go flying into a car or to a a semi like Superman or something. I'm sure I'll be fine and it's gonna pace myself at first. Oh here's uh Ray's uh push mower. Um it needs a gas tank, it needs a carburetor. I don't think the gas tank may work. I think the carburetor's all gummed up and that gasket's no good. I don't think there's a good clean service for the gasket to work on this on this um car this uh gas tank even if there was one uh 
it may be too expensive to fix. I was thinking of selling the lawnmower that, that you'll see in the next segment and uh, trading this in with Ray, but looking at it and thinking about it, I don't know if I want to go through and spend the money to fix it. Um, I don't have parts on hand. When you don't have parts on hand, you have to, to uh, buy parts, guys, which is sad. Very sad. I you know parts get costly when you have extra parts around. Well, maybe, maybe I give him ten dollars for it. I don't know if he would take it. So maybe sometime next month or something. I'm strapped for cash because I bought parts and things, and I uh, bought other stuff. And maybe buying a bicycle. We don't know. Let's have to wait and see. Um, I'm still looking for a bike. I don't know. I'm just looking. Nothing's definite. The other bike I bought was too big for me, and I broke the chain off of it. And I was just examining this thing further, thinking it was going to work. I tried putting a different carburetor on it that I had, and it still wouldn't run. So there's this uh, gas tank is totaled. We'll just have to see. Honestly, I don't want to work on any more of them. I just want some of the push mowers gone so I can enjoy the rest of my summer. Or actually, the stamper's gone. This has brought tears to my eyes. This thing is obviously crying. It was running when I shot this, but it's crying. It's leaking gas out the, out the primer bulb. This thing ran fine, and now it leaks gas. Bye guys, peace, I love you, see you in the next video, take care, please like, comment, share, subscribe.